Go Packers. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for calling. Hey, you're on the air. How are you? Hey, Jed, as far as that one guy about Otis. Ernest T. You're Ernest T. Bass. <laughs> I, I could have been Opie. You're talking about the Andy Griffin show. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, wait. You got to hear this. Hold on. Let's play it again. Wait, just for, let's hear it. All right. They're talk He's making a reference to MX as part of the Andy Griffith show. So give me a second here. I, it's down. I thought it was the last one. So many are coming in. Here we go. Good morning, Jimmy. You had a good show yesterday. You had the sheriff, Andy on, and the deputy, Barney. And then M MX, I mean, uh, Ernest T. Bass, he called. <laughs> <laughs> I could have been Opie. But no, Mad Mac would be Opie because he ain't calling WJOP anymore. <laughs> Wait a second, what do you mean? Well, hey, don't you want to hear about my Christmas Wait thing? Wait a second, what, he's not calling anymore? I missed it, why? I heard him well, call it, um, Tony the other day. Well, what is it, what happened? He says he's on vacation, but I see him riding around town. So wait a second, like he's not call uh, did I do something? I mean, you know how it you is, care? MX for for someone who has a, a, you know, every once in a while you just say something that's going to piss somebody off and then they're mad for like a month. <laughs> you that happens to you all the time. He's upset. No, it doesn't. Because you don't answer lost. my call. <laughs> now listen. Matt, one thing about me taking uh, being Mad Max friend you used to get 6,000 text messages a day. Now I only get 3,000 because I get the other 3,000. <laughs> but he's yeah. not calling anybody. You know, what is, uh, is he okay? Yeah, probably is. Hey, but but my Christmas memes. Remember how they picked on Stormy Daniels? Mm -hmm. Remember we had to hear that forever? I'm going to have Biden as Santa Claus, and Kamala's going to be sitting on his lap. It's going to say, ho, ho, ho. Why is that? <laughs> why why, that why are you nice calling one. her a ho? It's I mean, ho, 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 it's Christmas. Oh, really? Because, I mean, well, are you spelling it H-O or H-O-E? How do you want me to spell it? I would like you not to do it at all. Because, I mean, why would she be on his lap? Because of Willie Brown. Oh, because of Willie Brown? So, oh, Melania, on, no, hold on, MX, we hold on. To listen to Stormy I know, but, Daniels. But let me finish, because okay. Melania Trump posed nude, and you never put her on Donald Trump. I mean, we got pictures of Donald Trump's daughter sitting on his lap. Now, that's yeah. something would would cause yeah. concern. But yeah, I'm, I'm just, you. you know. I got your gander up, don't I? I got your gander no, up. No, you, didn't get, you really didn't get my gander Daniels. up. I just have to respond to you because I heard you mention about her yeah. walking on State Street before and I wasn't on the air No, to she respond. was at Pete Mabel's. They found her at Pete, Pete Mabel's. Pete Mabel's has been torn one. down for here's many years one. now. Let's move on. You know, we we took it about Stormy Daniels. Now you got to take it. Now, you dish it out, you got to take it in the mill. Now, <laughs> McDermott, right? He's sitting on Santa's lap and he, You've been a naughty boy. You raised the water rates 438%. You like that one better? Yeah, I like that one better. But, <laughs> but, but make sure, MX, make sure that while he's sitting on Santa's lap that he does not have a mask on because that is how he was at the Christmas parade, walking around, yes. giving it, kids candy. It, so there's a picture of him with his hat on, but make sure you don't Burley. put a mask on him. Early, here's the cartoon. I already got it. I already got the idea. You know, Lefty called in and call, call him Corona Tom. He's going to be flying over the sportsplex with a bad cape, and he's going to be the super spreader. I, and I'm really mad that, that the way I got treated by Oscar, and that's why I made that Mimi. I don't need a bunch of double talk, Oscar. You go over there when it's over 25% capacity, okay, and you arrest him because people are dying of COVID. I have something to ask did. you about my as well. My friend did. He really did. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. I really it am. It makes me mad that he's he, he's acting like that. He goes over there and picks on Mervin with two people on the bench. He's got his little toady, uh, Dave Hine. And Dave Hine ain't been coming over to the house lately. Is he okay? And then he goes after that church and goes in that church with 16 people with masks on. That's just a total hypocrite. Well, it let really me ask is. you a question about hypo hypocrisy and irony. W what do you think? Because I was going to ask Ron Matlock this because he lives in Gary, and I'm going to ask you since you live in Hammond. How did you feel about him hiring the former councilwoman from the city of Gary, former two-time mayoral um, candidate, 
for a position in Hammond over as the executive director of United Neighborhoods. Did that, uh, you know I mean, what? is that political payback for uh, support of her, him? LaVita Sparks Wade gets a job that, well, I guess you didn't have anyone in Hammond qualified to do it. Carlotta here, King did it, but they fired here's her. Where the, here's where the hypocrisy comes in. He says if you live in the town of Hammond as a policeman or a fireman, you get an extra bonus, and he likes people that live in Hammond. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but then he turns around and does this, and I ain't got nothing against LaVita, but... You know what? There's many people in Hammond here that need jobs. Wait a and second. What right. are we talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about. Jim. What are we talking about? Okay. I? LaVita Sparks Wade, former councilwoman in Gary from the 6th District, ran for mayor twice, supporter of um, Marissa McDermott and Mayor McDermott in this past election for Congress, uh, was given a position as the executive director of United, of, of United Neighborhoods. And I know she says she's moving to Hammond. I don't know that she's moved here now, but I understand people in Hammond are pretty upset when they have qualified people who <laughs> lived here. It sounds like it sounds like political uh, patronage. It, it sounds Pardon like me. political payback. It sounds like pay to play. Here's here's my thing. Look at the campaign finance reports. I have That's looked at them. Say. I saw the money that he gave her. I don't know if it was to pay for campaign workers or what, but we know from this election from his. From the election with his wife, we know that Levita's pastor was caught on tape talking about giving his parishioners chicken dinners for their votes. So I know all that. that Wait a that's second. Called, Hold on a second. People that don't know. Hold on a second. Levita Sparks Way, who, who used to have that job? Was that. Um... Carlotta uh, King had the job at one time. She. Uh, lost a job. She ended up suing Hammond. Of course, there's a gag. You know, there's no disclosure on how much money she won, but we know the city of Hammond did have to pay out. Too bad they didn't have to do a public apology like they did to Miss Becerra. Bill Taylor, <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, thank you, Bill Taylor. Carlotta Blake King got a settlement? Yes. Yes. And yes. all right, this yeah, is all alleged right now because no, it's not alleged. Uh, listen, but, we have, <laughs> right, but you guys say that you're right. It's alleged. It's alleged because, it's alleged. because alleged. there's a lot, there's a lot right. of a lot of suing going yeah, on. It's alleged. Um, and so wait a second, Carlotta Blake King sued the city and allegedly got a allegedly sued the city and allegedly got a piece of the action or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then Levita Sparks Wade. I mean, that's a Got that job? Yes. I don't. Now I'm she. Now there here. were other people who people who had it before her. Uh, the last person was what Dennis Radov Rad Radovich or something like that. But yes, Levita Sparks Wade now has that position in Hammond. So um, I'm hearing from a lot of Hammond people that they are not happy because she was over there in Gary, and they're like, "Really? What? You didn't take care of this type of blight issue in your own district, but now you're in Hammond. It just sounds like a political." Well, Payback. I mean, I, I understand okay. you guys could be upset about that, but she's still in a leadership position. I'll try to get her on and uh, Jed, give her vision. She won't come on because you, you're Jed. not allowed to bring people from the city of Hammond. Well, no, that's <laughs> not that's not true. <laughs> what, what, that, <laughs> that will not be right, defined. See if she we comes on. Jed, stop. No. What Burley's talking about is the hypocrisy. He gets mad at the firemen police for leaving the town, and he gives the ones here extra money, but he goes out. And, and grab somebody from uh, from Gary. But what Ver what Verley? That's my alarm. I'm just, just talking case. about hypocrisy. I'm talking about the yeah. irony. Where do you got to take a position. pill? You got to take a <laughs> pill or what? No, no, that was my alarm. You know what? That's if somebody's in the yard. Then I come out and take care of it. But pro if if you want to know about the chicken for votes, it's Project Veritas, uh, Marlon Mack, and that's a good one. But going back to Carletta King. She's not a big fan of MX, but I do got to give her a big, huge compliment. She stopped that raise for Scott Miller, and Scott Miller wants me to pay for his school. That boy needs to spank it. He really does. <laughs> All right. Okay, hey, what uh, I mean, well, he's hey, going to get an hey, earful, Jeff. Hey, your uh, alarm went off, so you better go take your pill. No, that's not an alarm. Listen. Well, you just said I it was an sensors. alarm. I got sensors in my yard. If you walk in my yard, guess what I come out? The, so the a squirrel must have just run through your yard. Well, so why do you set yeah, your alarm did. at 8? It had to be a, it had to no, be it was a motion detector. Right, <laughs> <laughs> it was McMafia. 
All right, I'll see you. Bye. Oh, squirrel, they're off. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs>